Hey BC, my name is Jackie and welcome to The Dish. Today we have two very special musical artists. We have William Bolton and we have his drummer, Vicky Sticks. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves a little bit and talk about just yourselves and your role in Boston College and your role in music? Well, thanks so much for having us, Jackie. Of course. We appreciate you. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm a musical artist. I'm, you know, again, like you just said, William Bolton and I'm a senior at Boston College. I'm a double major in uh, CSOM marketing and also in philosophy perspectives. Oh, wow. So, um, you know, I've, we've both been, you know, playing music our entire lives and we just met here and had the opportunity to, to start, you know, playing together. And that's been amazing. I'm Victor Arumi. Um, I'm a junior at Boston College studying history from Orange, New Jersey. And um, I think Will pretty much nailed it right on its head. Like, <laughs> two We're students, student musicians. You know, students that love music. And, you know, I think it's interesting because we're pursuing this as a full-time career. And we're pursuing it in, like, right now as if it's our job. Because it is, you know? And yeah, absolutely. So, so balancing that, like, that with school, it can be hectic. But at the same time, it's, it's so much fun. You yeah, know, I agree. I think that the music scene is kind of limited here at BC, so can you tell me a little bit about how you guys met and how you kind of became a band together? Yeah, for sure. Um, like you said, I think, yeah, like BC, it, it tends, to, yeah, I think when I got here, I was, I wanted to meet kids who were interested in music, and I, I did. There's, you know, there's, there's groups like the Music Guild, who are, it was awesome, and there's a lot of musicians, I think, who really want to be part of it, but I think what we found is that it's, the problem is like not being able to get a space on campus. The problem is actually getting your friends to come out to events, and um, you know, and that's why I've been holding my own like you know private events to throw concerts because that was always the issue for us was just having getting people to come to events at BC. Um, but how we met? So basically, uh, I've I been can, I can tell. okay. You can <laughs> say it. So, so. Uh, my freshman year, I, I like I will say I came looking to get involved in the music scene. And I remember um, I got a, a mixtape from a friend, and she said, listen to this, Victor, you, you'd love it. <laughs> I said, okay, whatever. <laughs> and, and I got home, and I listened to it, and I said, wow, like, the, I really like this mixtape a lot. This, this kid is really talented. So I went on Facebook, and I, I messaged him. I said, hey, I'm Victor. I, I'm a freshman here at BC. I'm looking to get involved in the, in, in the music scene. And he said, all right, yeah, like, uh, let's jam. Let's set something up in two weeks. I remember we met uh, two weeks after that um, at the Lions, uh, the the the, the uh, rehearsal space. Yeah, the rehearsal yeah. space. <laughs> the drum set, the drum set was beat. Yeah. Oh. You know what I mean? It's like it's just not. That's you see, it's just it's so sad to see that. But I know that you guys have had a lot of wine mixers <laughs> that have like had a great turnout. I think you're gonna about have your fourth this Friday, That's yeah, cool. which I will be there again. Yeah. Um. So how would you say those wine mixers have helped? Promote Ooh, we probably should. Willie B. Uh, no, no, it's okay. It we're mixers. we're all legal here. It's okay. Um, so how have your um, performances off campus promoted your um, Willie B? Yeah. Um, so I think you know we kind of I birthed the concept with my good friend Kevin Suggs, um, who's also you know I would say a socialite at Boston College. He's he's a boy, boss. He's, yeah, he's a good <laughs> kid. He's great. And you know we kind of were just brainstorming this one day and just hanging out and and just kind of talking about. The Boston College party scene and how we feel like you know the, the space is limited on on yeah. campus and off campus. So what ends up happening is these re these really exclusive parties that just get packed in the mods and it's just like they're playing really loud music and it's like hot and it's like uncomfortable and it's like that's not really a good environment for you to really meet somebody and actually have a conversation, you know, and a actually interact with someone who's a fellow student. Um, so we're sa we said you know what how about we just have our own you know gather social gatherings off campus and just like, you know, serve cheese and crackers and have people hang out and like actually talk to each other. Yeah. And then on top of that, add like live music. So, you know, yeah, it just started with some of our friends and we've just been having people come out that want to just uh, have like a different type of weekend. Yeah, yeah. I've s I have saw, I think last week or two weekends ago, there was a fan who flew down to see you. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Tell me about that. that. Yeah, so one of my, yeah, so that's the other cool thing is that, um, it hasn't just been BC. I've actually, in, you know, invited whoever want whoever wants to come to these. You get like it's just, it's just shows, you know. Yeah. So one of my fans, his name is Andreas. Um, he came out from California, and just to see you. Just to see me. That's yeah. Amazing. He came to my concert yeah, that came the, to the a same concert a couple of days. Okay. Before yeah, we had well. one on Wednesday at, a, okay. at the Middle East in Cambridge, and then yeah, he came to the wine mixer too. But yeah, it was just incredible That's to awesome. to have someone come out. Yeah. So how do you book? You said you had a performance in the Middle East, and I've yeah. seen that you've opened up for some artists that are well known. How do you?
sort of get your name out there? Um, so it's, it's a mix of things. You know, we, I have a booking agent uh, in New York City okay. uh, who works at Paradigm Agency. So he helped me get a lot of those opening gigs um, because, you know, he has the relationships with those artists and their managers, you know, so he can just say, hey, you know, like, can we put my client Will as opener? You know, he's in Boston. He can sell some tickets and then, you know, get him like that. It's like that. Or I just like meet somebody like, you know, like uh, I met this artist, Kyle. He's like a kind of like pop rapper out in California, okay. you know, and just like just being around the scene, just meeting artists and then saying, That's great. yeah. Uh, something we definitely need to talk about is your transition from Times New Roman to William Bolton. Can you tell us a little bit about how you decided to change your name? Yeah, um, kind of like my friend Shaolin Meta. I was talking to him a lot about it, and he was saying, you know, Times New Roman is really cool, but you know, I think William Bolton is a great, you know, great stage name, and. Um, I kind of felt like at, you know, I was at a point in my life where I was going through some transition and I kind of felt like I really wanted to, to be myself, mm -hmm. you know, and, and to put out this art as a person, you know, that, so I think that was a big part of it. And, you know, I, I agree with Shaolin. I think, you know, I think it's a strong, strong name, so why not use it? Yeah. Has it hurt your music at all or has it been, has it helped it? Um, I would say, I'll, you? I would say if anything, like it's, it's probably helped it just okay. because I, I like to think it's like maybe like a more, you know, like a cooler name to maybe see on a, on a, st on a you know, flyer or the internet or whatever. I think at BC, a lot of kids still know me as Times New Roman. Yeah. But like you said, it's it's funny because like a lot of my fans all over the, like the internet call me Willie B now, but it's funny because it actually started at Boston College. I had friends that were like, yo, Willie B. And so uh, dream, dream at night. I was like, okay. yeah, they call me Willie B. Oh, when yeah. I go to New okay. York City. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I obviously love all of your songs. They're awesome. Which one, which are your favorite songs to perform and why? Both of you. To, to perform. Well, we love on my mind. Yeah, we have the song <laughs> on my yeah. mind. That's awesome to perform. It's just high energy, um, high groove. Yeah, uh, we love to play "Summer Breeze." I guess it's a classic. Uh, Bud Light has been a favorite just because everyone sings Those along. Those are my, all my the roommates, hi guys. Yeah. Those are, that's my roommate's favorite. <laughs> yeah. Um, those are probably the top three right now. Yeah. Obviously, I know you're going to be at BC next year, but we're both graduating next year. We are. What <laughs> is your plan post? Postgraduate plan. Um, so I'm in June, or you know, I guess halfway through May. I'm either going to move to New York or Los Angeles, depending on you know uh, where I decide, who I decide to work with, business-wise. Okay. But yeah, you know, I'm just going to be pursuing it full time, and hopefully, can drag this kid out next semester, bring him on tour. So. Who do you hope to work with one day? Um, I think my like lifelong goal, or one of them, it Pharrell. is Pharrell Williams. Yeah, Pharrell. he's like oh, my he's great. Yeah. He's, my, he's my favorite artist and producer of all time. Uh, I mean, then obviously, you know, like Kanye would be amazing. Um, mm, yeah. And then he, I guess some newer kids. I'd love to work with like Vic Mensa or or Chance yeah. the Rapper. I think yes. those would be some cool people to work That's with. That's awesome. Yeah. So I really hope I know you're gonna make it one day, and I know that you know well, this interview you. is gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna play this interview one day in like ten years and be like, I interviewed him before he was famous. <laughs> hey. So, That's the hope, right? <laughs> I, yeah. Ten years later. Um, That's thank fun. you guys for coming oh, so thanks much. For, thanks so much for having. We've us. had a great time and. Follow him on Spotify and follow him on uh, SoundCloud. We'll have the links for you down here. That's Snapchat, dope. dope. And also, Snapchat, yeah. if you want to <laughs> shout out your Snapchat yeah. names. Snapchat is uh, William underscore Bolton. Follow me on Twitter, at Vicky Sticks. V-I-C-K-Y-S-T-I-X. <laughs> That's the thing. On Twitter, too, at Jackie Shaman. <laughs> hey. So, thank you guys for watching, and you've just been served the dish. The dish, baby. Oh. Chillin' and we downtown made a couple beats It's a bitch with the round house Hey, when these people found out now The Willie beat it Shit! <laughs> 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 <laughs>